Hey there, it's Carrie here at Get Your Vibe Right. And I'm gonna tell you about a little mental game that I play that helps the universe know what it is I'm trying to manifest. And oftentimes when we have an internal dialogue in our head, that internal dialogue is dominated by our inner critic, right? It's pointing out all the things that are going wrong, the things that we don't have, the things that we want, but don't, aren't probably ever gonna get. It's kind of a negative dialogue, right? We're complaining about the guy who, you know, we stepped off the curb to cross the street and instead of stopping for us, he gunned it. And, and we think we dwell on these things that aren't working out for us. We tend to get stuck in that cycle. So this is a quick little mental game that will raise your awareness about the things that are working for you or that you would like to have. And I'm pretty sure that years ago, I heard about this little mental game from Esther Hicks in one of her audios or her books or something like that. You might be familiar with her work. Um, and it's called the That's For Me game. I mean, I'm not sure that that's what Esther called it, but what she was recommending was just start going through your day and every time you see something that makes you smile, that that is something that you would like to have, just say, that's for me. That's for me. Oh, yeah, right there, that's for me. Like for me, I would like to be in a loving relationship. So when I see somebody holding hands, walking, a couple holding hands walking down the street, I say, that's for me. Or when I see a man who's helping his, his partner out in some meaningful way, I say, oh, that's for me, right? I'll do this with clothes that I see in shop windows. I'm not gonna buy them, but I wanna let the universe know, hey, that's for me, that beautiful dress right there, that's the kind of thing I wanna have. That's for me, right? When you see small acts of kindness going on, when you see kids playing and having a great time, the joy, the, the freedom that they express in their bodies, that's for me, right? whatever it is. So you're not focusing on what you don't have, you're focusing on what you do have or you would like to have in a positive way rather than focusing on what you don't have and grumbling about it, <laughs> that internal grumble that we all have. So this is a quick and easy game that you can start playing anytime that you see something that makes you happy, brings you joy, is something you would like to have in your life. Instead of feeling envy, that somebody else has it and you don't, or somebody else could buy it and you can't, just let the universe know, hey, just let you know, that's for me, that's for me, that's for me. And as you do this, it's going to completely change that internal dialogue and the universe is gonna start showing up for you and delivering all that stuff that you're saying, that's for me about. So give it a try. Why don't you take hmm, the next three days and see how many times in your day you can think that's for me. And then at the end of the day, see if you feel differently than the times when you were comparing yourself to somebody or feeling jealousy or envy because they had what you didn't. And because remember, it's how you vibe. It's not what you do that creates your success and happiness in this world. So let's raise our vibe together and start playing the that's for me game.